little run test before we uh, attempt to stick it back in the car, um, just to make sure we didn't knock anything out of alignment when I took it apart to whittle down the shape of the adapter plate. So, keep your fingers crossed, and here we go. It's running very true, it's very smooth. There are no unusual noises. I know it seems a little noisy, but it's actually okay. There's no vibration in it at all. So I think we're doing very well. We'll get this put back in the car, uh, get the front end put back together, and then we'll give it another test juice and to watch the, wind, the wheels spin in all the different gears. So we're coming along very well. Try to keep it from smashing into anything. Is there a... See, I don't think that's going to do anything. If I let go of it, it's going to go. Right. So you're doing it exactly the way it needs to be done. Okay. Well, just to give you a quick update on all of this, the adapter plate, the spacer plate are all finished. They're trimmed up. Uh, the motor is mounted to the transmission. You saw a few minutes of us kind of putting that, or a few seconds rather, of us kind of putting that back in there. And everything's put back together. The axles are back in, the wheel assemblies are back together, all of the cross bracing and everything's back in. This part is all finished, except for one important thing. The passenger side motor mount had to be removed, obviously, because it didn't, uh, there's no engine there for it to mount to. So we're going to have to have a custom motor mount fabricated to hold the end of the motor to this side of the firewall. Uh, the, frame rails rather, and then of course the passenger drive axle has a mount that used to mount to the engine block, and of course that's going to have to be incorporated in that mount to hold that in the right place. Once we get those two, or that, that should really be one component, but once we get that finished, then we're going to be able to start putting all the EV components in. We're going to be able to put uh, battery racks, place all the batteries, lay out the control board with the controller and contactor, DC-DC converter, all of that sort of thing. So, um, really, once that mount's finished, it should be pretty quick going. A lot of wiring to do, a lot of little things to figure out, but uh, this is the bulk of the actual physical work. This stuff right here. Um, getting that engine out, getting everything related to the engine out, making the adapter plate, getting the electric motor made into the transmission, and getting that whole assembly back in, and everything put back together. I am really tempted to uh, fire it up, give it some juice, and watch the wheels spin, but I don't want to do that because that passenger axle isn't isn't attached properly yet. So I'm I'm going to hold off. I'm going to be patient, and I'm going to wait till it's right. Then we can spin it up, and we'll see the wheels turn. So we're coming along pretty nicely. Thanks for sticking with me.